welcome back to my channel so how are you people doing out there um please if you're just passing by and you love what you see please why don't you subscribe to my channel so whenever i upload a video <laughs> you'll be one of the people that will be the first to get an alarm in your boss so please subscribe i need you as my subscribers so Today I'll be talking about <laughs> understanding people, you know, um, the frustration in our world today has made people or some people to, you know, lose their minds and some to um, uh, lose respect for other people, you know, in order to understand someone, in order to understand um, some people you really have to sort of analyze them and you really have to you know uh, be able to um to know their kind of personality in order to understand them and uh, first thing you have to know about understanding people is this first of all you have to understand yourself that is trying to understand those people because you really have to understand yourself know from the angle you're um, you're looking at them, you know, from the persp perspective you're looking at them, what is your aim of doing the analysis, and why is it so important to you? And uh, if you're able to do that, and, and then uh, trying to remain objective in your analysis, then uh, you will be in a better position to really understand some people and their behavior. So another thing is this, as I said, the first thing you have to do when you really want to understand somebody is this, you have to recognize their personality, not the type of person the person is, because if you are able to know the type of person this person is, it will help you to know how to interact with the person, you know, it will help you to know how to listen to the person and if you're listening to the person what to you know look at when you're listening to the person the kind of you know ways that you have to look at when listening to this person and again you you know you also have to watch the person how the person behaves the body language of this person because some people can be saying something uh, as and be meaning something else you know some people let's take for instance someone will tell you i love you but the actual fact is this that the person likes you not love you know love and like although some people misinterpret it i know that love is more intensive than like so and again, uh, when you are able to recognize this person personality, it will help you also, you know, to, it will serve as a guideline to, you know, to knowing and understanding this particular person. But again, you have to understand that not just recognizing the person personality is enough, then you have to know that the emotions of people sometimes, you know, influence their behavior at a particular point in time. And again, their circumstance in life, what their experiences in life also helps to um, influence them and influence their behavior. So in analyzing this person and knowing the kind of uh, personality this person has, you also have to take all those things uh, into consideration. Another thing is this, once you re recognize the, the kind of person this person is, then you will now be able to understand how to engage him or her in a conversation that will you know be of interest to him how to relate better with him how to you know to do things that will really attract him or her to you and uh, you know and when you are able to really know how to interact with this person i think it will help you better to understand this person another thing is this in trying to understand somebody please don't assume that you know the person don't assume maybe you went to the second the same secondary school with this person or maybe you went to the same primary school with this person maybe you have been the friend of this person for a long time you know 
you should remember one thing you should have at the back of your mind is that people do grow and again that some circumstances some life uh, experience uh, uh, normally change people that is also what you have to bear in mind you should remember that all when when you take into considerations all those things then you will know that maybe this person that you know in those days might be a different person now and whatever that happened along his corridor of life must have contributed to shaping him to making him or her who he or who he is right now so when you are trying to analyze somebody when you're trying to understand somebody when you're trying to understand their behavior please don't assume over assumption has caused so many things in relationship please understand the circumstances surrounding this person understand this person's situation understand the life experiences of this person that is the only way you'll be able to understand this person very well. and another thing is this you should keep in mind that we are all different we can never be the same even if you are twins even identical twins are not the same they might be you know uh, you know their looks may be similar but their behaviors may be different so even if you are uh, uh, the same mother gave birth to you people you are all different so the way the uh, uh, our um, the way we are different that is also how we tick that is also how we think so understand again that we are different and when you understand that and bear that in mind we are why dealing or try to understand somebody i think it will go a long way in you know trying to help you another thing is this uh there's an adage that says he who wears the shoe knows where it pinches him what i'm trying to say is this you should try and put yourself in the position of that person maybe if you try and put yourself in the position of this person who you're trying to understand think about his or her life experience sis think about his or her encounters in life think about the relationship in his or her marriage think about you know his frustrations you know everything about him if you're able to put yourself in his shoes then maybe you will be in a better position to understand this person and to understand why he is behaving the way he's behaving and why he's talking the way he's talking or why he's uh, the kind of you know withdrawn person that he is so you try and put yourself in this person's position then you really understand this person and again um understanding the kind of personality you are is also very very important because if you really understand the kind of personality you are if you are the type of person that really judge without getting to the uh, uh to the bottom of the issue then that means that uh, you will be the type of person that will be looking at things from you know another you know uh, from a certain direction you know you have to understand the kind of person you are know if you're the right person who who is in the right position to analyze this person if you're not and if you're if you don't really understand you and because by understanding you, you know you have to know the kind of the area you're coming from you have to know the kind of person you are you have to know why is it important that you un understand this person that you're trying to understand and you have to know how uh, why is it so relevant that you need to understand this person and uh, you know how has it you know affected you as a person that you really wanted to know uh, to understand this person so in understanding people i think the first rule is this you first of all have to understand yourself because if you don't really understand yourself you don't know what you want if you don't know where your direction if you don't just like a sheep without a compass if you're focusless if you don't know what you want if you don't know who you are if you don't know the type of personality you are then analyzing people and trying to understand them in order to relate well with them 
will be a very difficult thing for you. So, I think, um, I think I'm done for today. Uh, but the thing is this, I know, try understand yourself and try understand from the ang angle you're coming from and try understand why it is so important for you to understand this person in your life around you at your workplace then if you're able to understand yourself then i think it will be very very easy for you to understand other people and relate well with them in anything you're doing so i think i have done justice to the topic please 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 i want you to be part of my small community. Thank you for watching. Till next time.